Hey guys, what's going on? This is Tanner from TanManBaseballFan.com again. It is, let's see, August 29th, 2016. So I'm coming at you with another mail day. This is the first time I've actually uh, shown myself uh, during a mail day. And unfortunately, I'm in between mustache waxes right now. So it's kind of a little, little droopy. So I'm hoping that uh, the new mustache waxes come in and uh, let me show you what I have to open. So there's this, it's two, three, four, five, and six. So there are six pieces to go through. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start off with this here. Okay, so let me get my scissors. There we go. Hope everybody's weekend was good. It's uh, very wet here in Texas, which the weather has been great because it hasn't been summer like. So, anyways, let's see. And oh, right off the bat, here we go. Take a look. Firehouse mustache wax, tacky. See that? So you take it off, and that's what it looks like on the inside. Mm. Yeah, that's really good stuff. Anyhow, let's go forward with the actual baseball cards here. I think are baseball cards, anyhow. They look like it. So this one, I actually don't know which one's which. Um, and I guess it ultimately doesn't matter. Oh, well, we'll go ahead and go for this one here. So this one is, looks like several cards here. And okay, so there's, all right, so it looks like there's several just filler cards. So when they're football, I don't really do football. But uh, Keith Wenning, Keith Price, Eric Ward, Greg Blair, and Carl Bradford. No idea who these guys are, but take a look at this picture. Worth showing anyways, right? And so here's what I got. This is a 2016 Top Strata uh, autograph that's not numbered. So I now have numbered to 50, 99, and the unnumbered one. So I'm looking for uh, basically everything else. So 90, um, let's see, the 125, the 75, the 25, and anything that's lower than that. And oh, by the way, and let me show you my uh, new fancy microphone. Look at that, massive. It's been working really well so far. So that's one. Uh, now this one right here, I do know what this is. I remember because this actually came from a member over at Collector's Universe as a gift. So I'll go ahead and open this. He, uh, the His name, um, if I remember correctly, let me see. I think it was, I think it was Bill. Yeah, his name was Bill. So, um, very nice of him to send something. Thank you. I, I have no idea what it is. Um, he just uh, wrote me from Collector's Universe and said uh, he had something for me and he thought I would enjoy. So, okay. Hi, Tanner. Last Friday night, I went to the Lancaster Barnstormers game, area independent team, to see Jose Canseco uh, and when they handed out game programs with him on the cover. I thought you might want one for your collection. Okay, uh, cool. Uh, please keep your eyes open for any uh, any unique Ripken items. Hope you enjoy the remainder of your collection. The remainder of your collection? I think that's what it says. And he signs off his bill. Thank you very much, Bill. I appreciate that. And for everybody that's uh, that's watching, uh, I believe his username is Ripken Fan. Let me take a look. Iron Man Fan. Okay, so Iron Man Fan at Collector's Universe. If you all come across anything uh, that's unique uh, in terms of uh, collectability for Cal Ripken, um, hit him up. So let's take a look here. He gave me two of them, so that's pretty cool. I'm going to take a look here. Let me get my camera back over here too. So here's what they look like. So again, thank you very much, Bill. I really appreciate that. That's really cool. Love them. Okay. Now, 
kind of making a mess here. Let's see. Okay, let's go for this one, I guess. Okay. There's a, an envelope. This is the kind of plain white envelope, the PWE, that I don't mind. That when it's first in a padded envelope. So I'm perfectly fine with that. Let's see. Oh, okay. So here we go. This is kind of an oddball item. This is a 1986 APBA game card set. And I'll show you here what they look like. So you see all those there? It's part of a game card. Uh, part of a board game or a card game or something like that. So they have uh, Lansford, Bach, Kingman, Alfredo Griffin, Dusty Baker, Jay Howell, Mike Davis. So it's basically the entire uh, 1986 Oakland Athletics team. And uh, so we've got Steve Henderson. And so, of course, the one that I'm looking for is the Canseco. I'll show you what that looks like once I come up. Oh, it's at the end. So here, take a look at that. So that's the front of it, and then the back. So the cool thing about this is, is that this is probably one of his first uh, gaming cards. I don't have this one yet, and I actually really hadn't thought about collecting any of these before, but I uh, bought out a super collector a couple years ago, and he had been picking up a lot of game cards, and we're talking... Um, like the Sports Illustrated uh, board games. Um, what was that other one? Uh, I don't remember what it was, but they were, uh, uh, that's going to bug me. Um, they're in tins and uh, it's like a pop culture, Trigo Pursuit, that's what it is. There are several of those where Canseco's uh, mentioned in these, uh, on some of these cards. And so he had just picked them up. And so I thought that was kind of cool because they came in with the collection I purchased. And I was like, well, I might as well keep it going. and. You know, I'll pick up some more as they go. It's their unique items because a lot of the people won't have these. They're collectors because they won't want to buy the whole game to just get their one guy. And nobody that owns the games wants to break them up. So it's kind of a cool thing. And I'm, I'm glad I got that. And the interesting thing is, is, and I wonder what the story is behind, behind this, but some of these have rounded corners and some of these have square corners like that. So I don't know why. It's kind of odd. Huh. Well, anyways, so moving on, put this in the opened area. Is that one? Okay, so we already opened that. We open this. We open that. Yep. Okay. All right, so this is the next to last package, I believe. Okay. I'm real organized, aren't I? Okay. So next up is, oh yeah, okay. Very cool. A little note, thanks TJ, enjoy Jim. Okay, and this is the card. So it's a 2016 Panini Immaculate Triple Bat Autograph. Um, and it's the last one out of 10. So uh, somebody had contacted me from my website at tamanbaseballfan.com. Uh, to ask if I if I needed this, and I said yes, I do, and I am very happy I got it. Let's inspect it real quick. All right, it looks good. It looks very nice. I like that. So, anyways, and I wasn't really sure what I thought about the immaculates, and I talked about this uh, last Friday as well. Um, but uh, I think they're a lot better in person than they are on the on the website. So on the internet. So there it is. Pretty, and I wonder why Jose signed some of them with 33 and why some of them without. It seems like he just, uh, uh, you know, normally signs in person with the 33, but uh, for card companies, it seems like he signs it without the 33. So I don't know what the deal is with these uh, Paninis, but either way, it's it's it looks good. It's a good autograph, um, and it's a nice uh, nice little triple bat thing. I, I probably would have liked them doing a quad bat area or quad patch or something but um that's cool it's a, it's unique it's a different type of card to add to my collection so last but not least i know what this is this is a tops vault item and i've talked about before in the past of how 
I like tops of all items. I'm gonna give, get a cutter here. Um, they're real unique pieces and um, I've enjoyed what they've put out. So let me uh, open this guy up and I will show it off. Okay. So first of all, the Topps Vault envelope with the certificate inside. And, hmm, love it. Love this. Here it is. Boom. This is a color separation key, four color separation key of the 1987 Topps Jose Canseco. So they actually used this to create the 1987 tops cards and if you know me you know i love this stuff so um yeah that's great okay so anyways that's uh ends it off on a high note there uh thank you for watching and again keep posted on my youtube channel youtube.com forward slash tanman baseball fan.com as well as my website tanman baseball fan.com i will be writing more i'll be putting more videos up as well i'm constantly writing constantly creating new custom cards and everything so thanks for watching and feel free to email me also if you have any questions or comments thanks have a great day